Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome. It's quite evident that God is acting in the life of Park Central Church, and it can be seen in many ways. I think that perhaps the most evident way is through the children and the life of the children in this church. Uh, I've been excited by the number of children that participate in the education program here. And that participation doesn't stop at confirmation. It continues beyond. And indeed, it isn't just in the education program. It extends beyond the walls of the church and the rooms here where we conduct our classes. I think the uh, situation I recall most is participation in the activities of the Samaritan Center, where I've joined my own children and others in helping to provide meals to those in need. I think there's nothing that's a greater evidence of God acting through the people of this church in that simple gesture of preparing and providing food. It's in a very real way an acting out of what they've learned in this church, and it's evidence of the spirituality that carries through those children into this world. People are so welcoming here. I, I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. And the education program's been great for our two kids. And the music program's just wonderful. And the mission committee does such a great job here with the projects in the city. And I'm so glad that I'm going to finally get to be a part of that now that my two kids are going to be in school all day so that I can help out. I think we really respond to God's called to love our neighbor, and that's the point thing that really hits my heart the strongest here. It's just marvelous. Just the mission in the community, but in the whole world, they go to different places and countries. It's just fantastic, and I'm so happy to be a part of it, and I love it. It's fun, besides everything else. <laughs> the church is a very caring community, and I particularly love the way everyone pitches in and helps each other. Um, uh, the church was very supportive when we adopted our two children, and the church really loves my children, and uh, that's very important to me. I see the spirit at work in Park Central through Andrew and Sarah. I see it in effect in the mission committee where any three people in the congregation, if they have a mission idea, they want to pursue it, the mission committee will support them. Um, I, I see it in the friendliness of the congregation, and I see it in the fact that uh, this is a family. Uh, look around. These are all people who think of each other as family. Everyone here is invited to the table. They're invited to join any committee. They're invited to participate in anything. Um, you don't turn anyone away. Everyone here uh, is part of the family of God, and each one is valued. I have seen a lot of work here at Park Central in the confirmation classes. Um, it is just so wonderful to see people, to see the young people grow in faith. And a wonderful thing, our first group, um, they are serving now on church boards, they are serving on committees, um, and now we're on the second group and the same thing is happening. Um, it's just, just wonderful. And working with Sarah is a treat. It's a wonderful place and working with our young people has been a real treat and a, a wonderful blessing. And God is at work here and the Holy Spirit is very much with us and we're grateful. I think God's helped work in my life at Park Central by giving me a, a, a safe haven and a way to recharge my batteries while going through uh, graduate school, which is uh, a challenging enough experience itself, a nice uh, respite. And I think that's how my faith has grown here. I've grown to appreciate it a lot more and uh, how important it is to get that weekly recharge and those connections with uh, other people. It's a joy for me to come to church because I feel a church family here. You're welcomed as you come in. People who are 
coming for the first time feel welcomed as if they were family members. One of the things that has drawn me to Park Central is its music program and its uh, traditional service. I think we have great leadership in the church in Andrew McTeer, and I think our committee members and our committees work very well in the structure of the church, and I think that's the secret of Park Central's success. We have a wonderful working family and people committed to the work of the church in its mission. The first thing that I would tell you is that um, I know for me, uh, Park Central has uh, restored my faith and it has uh, challenged my faith. It's a place where I found to be uh, very welcoming, uh, very hospitable. The congregation has a true sense of what it means to be in mission and to know who they are as God's people and who we should be servicing, servicing in mission. I've, I've been a member of Park Central since uh, for 52 years and it was the music program that brought me uh, to uh, this wonderful church and it has such a friendly atmosphere about it and when people come in there they always feel welcomed. I'd grown up in a Presbyterian church and I was at a point in my life when I felt I really needed to find another one and I came here and it was so welcoming and opening, open and friendly. It's not the same as the church I grew up in, but it, had, it felt the same in terms of just how open people were and not pressuring. Nobody was going to say, well you have to join this committee and you have to do this thing, but letting you know that they were thinking of you and letting you know that they, you know, missed you when you didn't come and that they wanted you to come back and that they wanted you to join a committee but you didn't have to. Uh. Oh, I think the thing that's been rolling in my mind about the activity of the Spirit here is Andrew's insistence that the worship is primary. I'm particularly aware of how we as a staff, uh, Julie Pretz out our music director, Andrew and Sarah, work as a group planning worship. And we're, we're all definitely coming at it with the same kind of mind. We're concerned about the texts, how everything fits together, do the hymns belong with that sermon. Uh, we, we plan quite carefully to get everything to fit together. But repeatedly here, this thing keeps happening that a service comes up on Sunday infinitely stronger in experience than we had any idea it was going to be. That happens mostly not on Christmas, not on Easter, but those other times when suddenly we come away feeling something happened here. I guess that's the spirit working. The um, joys of my Sunday is to um, even come on early and to be part of the uh, adult form. It is a place for me to enrich my knowledge of the scriptures and to reinforce my faith. What I like about Park Central is a constant part in my life. Doesn't matter whether my life is up or down, right or left, I can always count on Park Central to be there. I found that the Spirit of God to me means the shared community and all that we do in this church and all we do in our, our, our city. What God has really given us is all the differences of all different kinds of people. More and more, I look at Park Central as not a building with walls, uh, but as a community of people, uh, both that forms within the church as an anchor and then reaches out to outside the walls. My uh, dad passed away a couple of weeks ago. And I have really been touched by how the church uh, rallied and how they supported uh, way beyond anything I ever deserved, but how, how people in the church community find ways of helping each other out in times of need. Well, I've been here ever since I was born, and it's been a wonderful church to be in. There's so many different ideas, everybody seems to have so many good ideas, and uh, everybody seems to respect everybody with their differences. Well, the Spirit of God has been at work here a long time. When I came here, it was uh, about 25 years ago, I came here for the music, because music has always been my worship. Music is a particular uh, function of the Spirit here, but it's also become another family for me, uh, and a family, an extended family in, in every way, with uh, people from many backgrounds, people of many age groups, 
um, people who have uh, enriched my life. It's, a, it's been a, a wonderful, long trip I've had here. Uh, and may it continue. Well, I've been here about three years now. And um, I find the service extremely meaningful. It's helped me in many, many ways. Um, the spirit is wonderful, it's well organized, it's a great balance between seriousness and uh, levity and fun in this church in general. And uh, to me it carries through the week, it carries through my life and has made a big difference uh, and, uh, to me and all over the place in my life. So the spirit is very alive here and I'm very happy to be a part of it. What really strikes me about this church uh, as a community is the degree to which we care. We care about each other, and so it's a very warm, friendly community. So you can count on a good smile every Sunday morning. All right, we moved here about two and a half years ago, not knowing a soul with small children, and uh, shopped around at a couple different churches, ended up here, walked in the door, and instantly knew I was at home. This is a congregation that loves its people. Um, worship has an integrity. The leadership is excellent. It's a place where my children are at home as I know God would want them to be. Each week it seems like there are more and more children up for the children's message. And this is a people that knows how to serve God with energy, intelligence, imagination, and love, which is what we're all called to do.